Welcome back to Stock Talk Trades. If you guys haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps with the channel and you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptocurrencies. If you guys want the best free Discord, hit the link down below. We give you guys like my call outs. We give you our top news, $2,400 scanners, crypto updates, and just chat rooms of my plays, my watches, and what I'm really doing for the day. Anyways, we're going to jump right into HBAR. We have a falling wedge. We broke out of that and now came back and retested it. But I'm not too sure, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this as a pattern because it really didn't do much for us. Again, I don't really like this trend to the downside. It's just kind of a downtrend. We, we want sharp, volatile moves in order to trade these. This is just not a pleasing to, to trade with or try to tech, do technical analysis on because there's not really much movement. But what we might be able to see is a potential double bottom here. That would, that would be something that we have to watch, keep on watch. Again, we made, we didn't make a new lows. When we stay above around 14 cents, then it could be considered a double bottom. Again, ideally, I would want to close above this 90 EMA, then this 90 EMA potentially close, um, and maybe pop above the 20 EMA like we did here. But this, instead of dropping right back down, ideally, we want to find support and continue higher. Again, HBAR is a very good project, and I absolutely love the fundamentals on HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph, whatever you want to call it, it is amazing. A lot of people don't like it. It's very, very uh, controversial. Same with XRP. I like H HBAR for the long, long term. I like XRP for the long term. I like pretty much everything on this list long term besides Dogecoin. Let's go and jump into on the weekly time frame and really look what's happening. On the weekly time frame, we are having just like... Again, a big ABC move. Now let's go ahead and look at some Fibonacci retracements here. Um, we're gonna swing low to swing high. Again, we are coming back into that OTE zone. That OTE zone is 61.8 to 78.6 percent level on Fibonacci retracements, and all, that's all to optimal trade entry point. We have a good pull, run up, pull back, and maybe an even bigger run up. That is what I'm looking for with HBAR. Let's go and jump to the monthly time frame. Really see what's happening with HBAR. Again, that run up, run up, pull back, and continuation. Let's make sure fundamentals again. It pulls back right to that OTE zone. So what what's really going to happen with HBAR? I I don't really know. No one knows, but I believe HBAR is is bound for reversal. We have boom, 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 boom. Four red candles in a row. We have 16 days left on this monthly candle. Ideally, keep this as very, very little volume as it has. And then when we see the reversal make a new high, we want increasing volume. We want it to continue to absolutely push. But that is just the ideal situation for HBAR and for other cryptocurrencies. Again, I believe there's going to be a utility coin bull run here future where Bitcoin is, I don't really know what's going to, have Bitcoin or any of the cryptocurrency for that matter. It's all red. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps with the channel. And you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptocurrencies.